Greetings one and all, this is Lloyd Brown. Welcome social media to my vlog. Uh, season two, I don't even know what episode it is. It doesn't matter, but you will see it in the description box below anyway. But here it is. I just want to fill this video with a lot of thanks. It's not going to be a long bag of talking video either. It's going to be quite a short one, but um, it's going to be filled with thanks. And first of all, I want to thank Remy Jalor and also Patrick Anthony for contributing their wonderful musical talents on my current project, which is Lynn's debut album, which I started in October and I finished in February and it's now getting airplay. So I want to thank them for their efforts as well and just thank them for being musical brothers, not only in my session work, but in my Rhythm Works band. You know what I mean? Because all the way our family, you get what I'm saying? So I just want to thank those guys first. Um, Second of all, I want to thank all those who have checked out Lynn's album on pre-order and has decided to pre-order the album. I want to thank each and every one for supporting her. It's not about me, even though I produced the album. It's not about me. You know, it's about her and it's about her debut effort. And with me, it's all about voices and songs, melodies. Do you know what I'm saying? Voices and songs and melodies, you know, and music. That's what it's about for me. And if I see someone that's got the talent and I think I can work with them, I will work with them. I don't care what your background is, what color you, you are. I don't care. You know what I mean? As long as you can basically put out your efforts vocally in a way that caresses my ears and don't hurt my ears, it's all blessed and it's all good. And Lynn has definitely been one of those people that I knew that I could work with because she's been working with me for over nearly 13 years now doing backing vocals for um, the Rhythm Works band. So, you know, so it's been a pleasure to work with her. And it's nice to be called a producer by DJs. It's nice to be called a producer by your peers when you came into the business as a vocalist. It's like an actor now becoming a director and being respected equally for their works and their effort as a director, as opposed to them being an actor. I kind of feel noted in that regard. And it's good. It feels, it does feel good, you know, because my talents are warranted in that regard. So yeah, it's, it's, it's good. So I want to thank Lynn for actually trusting me to handle her debut efforts, you know, with these hands. <laughs> So I want to thank her for that. And I want to thank everyone that, like I said, that has checked out the album, that's even pre-ordered the album. I have got people basically saying that they've got their favourites already and it's only 30 seconds of each track they're hearing. So that is pretty good as well. Also, I want to thank Father Ernest, a.k.a. Daddy Ernie, who had the distinction of playing the album as a world exclusive on VibesFM.net. Now... I don't think Ernie will mind me telling you this, but Ernie is a very discerning character when it comes to music, right? If the music don't make it, it don't make his show. It's as simple as that. And I'm not saying that other DJs don't know that either, but I'm just saying with Ernie, that's even more so. It's like, you know, don't tell me about nothing. Just send it to me. If I like it, I'm going to tell you. If I don't like it, I'm going to tell you. You know what I'm saying? So. I sent it to him, gave me four thumbs up. You know what I mean? So I know if he likes it and he's rocking it, I know that the rest of the DJs are going to rock it as well. Not to say that I'm putting him above anybody else, but I know Ernie to be very, very discerning when it comes to music. You know what I'm saying? You know, so it's all blessed and it's all good. So I want to thank him for rocking out the tracks then and putting, putting her tracks in the mix of people like Chronics and... Jack Cure, I've got to say, Ernie, that, that Chronics tune, Skanking Sweet, oh my days, me said the tune, bad it, 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 Yeah, man, Chronics show in Brixton is going to be cock. Yeah, but anyway, um, move that aside. And I've got to say, it's like, it, was, it sounded good to hear her tunes in that mix. Do you know what I'm saying? In an international mix of music that he played over the last couple of days. And I was listening to one of his shows. I think it was Monday I listened to the show and I heard this dude and I could have swore blind it was Bitty McLean. It was 
I just thought it was Bitty McLean that in Ghana up a gear. And I'm thinking, oh no, that's not B. But whoever this dude was, listened to a lot of Bitty McLean, I've got to say, because his phrasing and his tone and everything just matched. And when Ernie said it was Amari Banks, I thought, what? So that dude, bright future, definitely got a bright future. And it was a joy to hear new young artists really, really raising the bar like Christopher Martin and Christopher Ellis. I mean, he's been doing what he's been doing for time still, but it's just nice to hear the younger generation of artists just really notching things up with good songs, good melodies, good productions, you know what I'm saying? So it's all blessed, because I don't tell you, it's about music with me, it's not about me, it's not about, it's not about that with me, you know what I mean? You know, I appreciate love music, wherever it comes from. You know what I mean? And if the music don't sound good, I'm going to let you know as well for, for whatever reason. You know, it's not an instrument to beat down an artist with. You know what I'm saying? My opinions are not a weapon. It's just something to just let people know what calms my ears, what strokes my ears, as opposed to what hurts my ears. That's just me. You know what I mean? Um, so And yeah, so is that I'm going to close by saying another set of thank yous to everyone else who are thinking about purchasing the album people who have heard some of the tracks played on daddy Erdy's show over the last couple of days and, and is liking what they're hearing i want to thank you guys in advance if you even intend to even get the album do you know what i'm saying i just want to thank you guys in advance and it doesn't stop here you know there's a lot of things i'm going to be doing i'm going to be releasing my vocalist album, my vocal album, my solo album, the 21st album actually in the lineup which is called Vocalist in October 2017 and I'm going to be recording the sequel, the follow-up to mine and Fiona's Really Together album um, which was overseen by the late great Lloyd Campbell and Jason Sterling. So I've got two albums on the go which is going to be released within six months of each other so it's going to be a pretty pretty busy time for me but i wanted to take this opportunity in thanking people that has checked out this project lynn's debut album entitled debut thank you for all your love and all your support of her efforts our combined efforts anyway is with that i'm going to bid you guys adieu for now and is with that you don't know the coup already Please, people, please, may I beg you, abstain from foolishness wherever possible. And until I catch you on the next one, people, stay blessed. Magan. <laughs>